I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 30. Let's focus on verses 15 through 22. And then they slaughtered the Passover lambs on the 14th day of the second month. The priests and the Levites were ashamed and sanctified themselves and brought the burnt offerings to the house of the Lord. They stood in their place according to their custom, according to the law of Moses, the man of God. The priests sprinkled the blood received from the hand of the Levites. For there were many in the assembly who had not sanctified themselves. Therefore, the Levites had charge of the slaughter of the Passover lambs for everyone who was not clean to sanctify them to the Lord. For a multitude of the people, many from Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, Zebulon, had not cleansed themselves, and yet they ate the Passover contrary to what is written. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, May the good Lord provide atonement for everyone who prepares his heart to seek the Lord, the God of his fathers, though he is not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. And the Lord listened to Hezekiah and healed the people. So the children of Israel who were present at Jerusalem kept the feast of the unleavened bread seven days with great gladness. And the Levites and the priests praised the Lord day by day, singing to the Lord, accompanied by loud instruments. As a rock and roll person, I myself appreciate that. And Hezekiah gave encouragement to all the Levites who taught the good knowledge of the Lord. And they ate throughout the feast seven days, offering peace offerings and making confession to the Lord God of their fathers. Now, I was recently discussing a potential business venture with a friend. And as we were trying to work out the logistical details, he wisely said to me, a good plan today is better than a great plan tomorrow. And his point was simple. You can't always have every base covered before you launch out because sometimes there are opportunities that must be seized immediately, otherwise the deal will crumble and never come back again. That means that some deals have to be worked out as you go along. Deals can be lost due to what they call paralysis by analysis. Too much time thinking can blind a person from the urgency of the moment. Today's passage is wonderful in that it is a snapshot into God's mercy and His grace, into His patience and His long-suffering, which is all throughout the Old Testament. The people chose to worship the Lord, even though they weren't all exactly sure how to worship Him. And thanks to Hezekiah's leadership, the call to worship the Lord in Jerusalem went out to not only Judah, but also to those Israelites those living in the apostate northern kingdom of Israel. How were the people commanded to worship God? By remembering the Passover. And what is the Passover? It is the festival that recounts God's miraculous deliverance of His people from overwhelming Egyptian oppression. So why did God deliver His people? Because they obeyed His word. I'm talking about back in the days of the Passover right? Back in the days of the Exodus, God said, here's what you're going to do. Every man needs to do this. I want you to slaughter this lamb. I want you to spread the blood of the lamb over the doorposts of the homes. And when people believed the word and then they obeyed it, well, then the Lord delivered them. That's what God's trying to communicate to all of Israel, both Judah, the southern kingdom, and the northern kingdom as well. Everything was against the Jewish people in the days of Hezekiah. Neither the priests nor the people were even sanctified. And it was not the biblically prescribed time to observe the Passover. And the nation was politically divided. Wow, sounds like the United States today. But the encouraging message for today is how God overlooked all of those formalities. It's not that he doesn't care, but what he cares most more than formality. You can have formality without the heart. But God looked at the heart and says, we can work on the formalities later. He looked at those formalities and he looked straight into the hearts of the worshiper and God chose to honor their faith by his grace. They weren't righteous, but he considered them to be righteous when by faith they sought him by grace. He saved them despite their absence of good works. 
What does that remind us of? Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. It's not of works, lest anyone should boast. So God weighs the heart, not strictly the actions of men. You know, Jesus cleans his fish after he catches them. So go with what you know about salvation today, and he will teach you the rest as you continue to walk with him. As we say, share what you know, grow as you go. That truth of our salvation is extremely comforting, especially for those of us whose prayer of salvation consists of, Lord, I believe, now help my unbelief. And God will answer such prayers. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like yourself. Your giving to Groundworks Ministries transforms lives. And if you're not participating, get into the game. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? We need your monthly support now more than ever. Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share our podcast with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.